What's up, Ethan? I am the bass player, and uh, I've been in this band since the start, and it's amazing. America. <laughs> America. Uh, my name is Jack. I do screaming vocals uh, for merchants, and I've been here since day one doing it. Uh, my name is Simon. I play guitar and sing, and I have also been here since before day one. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, I'm Matt. I play guitar. Hey, thank you. Hold on. That's all I have. There we go. You can edit that, right? Don't worry. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I did a post. My face would be on both your faces. It looked like it was triple interesting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Zach, and I uh, play the drums for Merchants, and I've also been here since then. Pretty awesome. You can limbo. But, uh, no, the other, you limbo the other way, bro. You got what you got. Like literal limbo? Limbo. Literal. literal. You got limbo under limbo. the shot. There we go. Oh! Um, I would say it was phenomenal. He's just one of those guys that's great to work with. He really knows how to bring the best out of you. You know, and he knows how to tell you when you're trying too hard to bring something out of you that isn't there. <laughs> so, I mean, he keeps it really real with you. It's good working with a producer like him that knows what he's doing, you know. Colby, Colby's one of those people that when you get an opportunity to sit with him, he just innately brings out your best. And he does so in a way that's kind of this warm, nurturing, father-like way while being a young, awesome guy. So, I don't know, a lot of people don't, uh, a lot of people don't really live up to the hype like he does. And I don't know, he's a real deal in the sense he's sure. The EP is done, finished, mastered, everything. Um, we're just working on the final details so we can get it out to the fans. All I can say is soon. I know that we're definitely going to be bringing more, more details really soon as far as like track listings, song names. We're going to be doing some really cool teasers with our buddy Corey.tv over here. He's like our other videographer. He does all our stuff for us. So um, it, it should be soon. Fans can expect pretty much us all pouring everything we have that we've always wanted to do into music into one, you know, right now six song EP. It, it for us, it took a lot of energy and a lot of sweat and a lot of attention and time. And I mean, we've been through a lot when writing it, and I think that all shows through the music. And we're really bringing a perspective, kind of an emotional perspective, to a scene that can be sometimes just talking about. Kind of just shit that doesn't matter. And I don't know, we wanted to keep that focused and we wrote that in both the way that music sounds as well as the lyrics that we say. And uh, I don't know, I think people are going to love it. We certainly love playing it. <laughs> Who wants to start? Well, my friend, uh, my favorite part of it was when we got hella drunk and someone threw a trash can off of it. <laughs> That was like the funnest thing. I like watching fights. It was hot. It was just ridiculously hot. I never experienced that much heat in my life ever. And then I think when you get on a big metal stage, the temperature goes up like five to ten degrees, and uh, it was just brutal. But we had a good time. We made some new fans. It was definitely a good experience. Yeah, I mean, it was it was 108 degrees in the desert, and I drank two gallons of water to stay hydrated, and I pissed once. So if you can imagine. Imagine all that sweat and that smell, especially in this region. I mean, it was brutal. But at the end of the day, you know, this is what you got to do to be a musician. It don't matter where it's at, we bring it. Static. Yeah, uh, ridiculously static. static. Yeah. Really kiddish. I mean, every time I die, it's got to be everyone that plays our kind of music's inspiration in some way, shape, and form. And also the Regency Ballroom. You know, that's like a legendary venue out there in San Francisco. So I think for a band like so small and fresh, starting as us, it's going to be a total honor, a really good experience. I mean, at the end of the day, that's, that's a dream come true. I mean, <laughs> we're in Sacramento, and we, you know, most of us have been here our whole entire lives. And you know, the Bay is obviously close enough that it's played a huge influence in the music scene and everything that we've done. I mean, the, the hardcore scene down there was obviously just crazy a couple years ago. And I don't know, to be able to play, especially with the bands and the people that we get to share the stage with, I, mean, I don't know, it's just, it's not. So we love it. I'm going to fangirl. Yeah, for sure. Hard. Yeah. Hard that hard. <laughs> Sign my tits! Sign them! <laughs> <laughs> That inspires. That's tough. I can't check the Facebook, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I think one of my, my personal one has always just been live your dreams because uh, a lot of people have a common misconception of what it is we do as musicians, and uh, we're not out here to make money. You know, it's, there's not a lot of money in this industry as it is. We're just out to put on a good show and spread music and hopefully a good message along with that. Well, there is a lot of money, but. We don't have it yet. <laughs> it's way out there and we're reaching. Time. We're reaching it. We're swimming in <laughs> For me, for me without question, and something that I struggle with every single day is putting myself first, but taking care of other people. And you know, at the end of the day you gotta be respectful for other people and with that that's inevitably how you take care of yourself. And if people don't treat me with respect, I treat them like fucking shit because at the end of the day, 
I mean, this is the only life I get to live, and I only want to surround myself with positive people. And if I'm going to do that, I got to be a positive person. So, True it's, it's a day struggle, but it's us for them sometimes. I'll set my practice. <laughs> Good fall. Good fall, on everyone. Well done. Good answer. <laughs> Can we like it? Because this is gonna be like a name drop fest, I think. Uh, don't fucking say that shitty. Dr. Dre. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, if I had to, for me, uh, it'd probably be Trent Reznor uh, of Nine Inch Nails. I mean, he's obviously kind of OG, and that's that's past the prime. But um, that guy writes and records every single thing that he does, and he's been a huge inspiration for me as far as one individual with some type of passion so being I, able to achieve that. One guy. So for me, it was a, that would be the one if I could collab, I'd, I'd pull that OG bastard out of whatever the hell he's doing and be like, let's do it. Okay. Mine would be Linkin Park. What I've listened to my whole life, the expression. Man, I don't know, they pretty much just nailed it. I think anyone that has had a huge impact on the music industry, I would love to work with in any way, shape, or form. As long as I can learn from them, I'm down. I know mine would be Death Note. Oh. I would love to work with them. I absolutely am Goo Goo Gaga for Death Note. <laughs> Shino, if you're listening, come come hang out with me. <laughs> come have a beer. Bro. Let's, yes. let's, let's just do it. <laughs> so oh, the biggest that, bam! Oh, that's God. That's God. I'm that's God. God. I call second. <laughs> uh, if I get to win by default and I get a little self-esteem boost of the day, I guess I'll, I'll go with the answer. I don't know. To me, the hardest job in this industry, without question, because they have the most gear, they have to sweat the hardest, work the hardest, and practice the hardest, is drums. I mean, Zach, Zach holds this band together, and when I'm sloppy and I'm messy and I'm running around, there's one guy that's consistent, and it's that guy right there. So for me... Zach and I second, I want third. Drummers, <laughs> drummers, drummers got it hard, man. The bass player always shit. gets last every time. I, but you know I what carry I mean? his gear. We don't right. even matter. I think it's important that your front man leads the band as the the leader. You know, you got to come out and be that person that sets a precedent for the rest of the band. You know. Seriously. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh. Don't think it's for the truth. Oh, it's so emo. <laughs> I roll my bangs back out. Wait, I, already have I already have them. <laughs> Yeah, straight up. I know we keep talking about how we're going to release new stuff, and we keep talking about stuff. It's hard being a band because you have so many additional hands in your pot and people that kind of have to, to help you along the way. We do have amazing news in the store. We do have this, this record that we can't wait, you know, can't wait to release for you guys. So just stick with us. Bear with us. We want to release it as bad as you do. I mean, it's our baby, and we want it to come out. And you can see it, and you can hold it. You can make love to it, or whatever you say. You Watch it grow. Yeah, and uh, that's it. I mean, just stick with us. We love every single one of you for all the support and everything you've done, and we'll see you out there. Yeah. Merchantos! Merchantos!